Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and in today's video we're going to be going over my HVAC service loadout for my new bag. This is the Vito Pro Pack Tech MC. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. In today's video we're going to be going over the Vito Pro Pack Tech MC that is going to be on the right side. On the left is my current tool bag which is quite large and extremely heavy so we're going to downsize on a couple of tools and we're going to be loading up the Vito Pro Pack Tech MC. If anyone is interested in seeing my loadout for the bag on the left which is my current loadout I will leave a link in this video's description and you will see a pop-up appear at any moment. Before I show you my loadout I want to show you this bag empty and also comes with this tag that explains some of the key features. It has 27 interior and exterior pockets of varying sizes, outside mounted stainless steel clip, electric tape strap, two storage bays, it holds over 40 hand tools, has a waterproof base, it has extra wide padded shoulder straps, YKK zippers, and it comes with a 5 year warranty. As far as the dimensions, if anyone's interested, the height is 12 and a half inches. The length is 10 inches and the width is 8 inches. Here's a quick 360 view of the bag from the outside. What I love about this bag is that it's heavy duty, the pockets and the organization. Definitely have a bunch of clips, zippers, Definitely have a lot of attachments, pouches, clips, definitely extremely useful. I really liked the fact that it's a double sided bag, if you open it up it does come with a shoulder strap which is really cool and you can fit quite a few things in here and also on the opposite side. The base of the bag is a key feature. It is water and oil proof. Let's go ahead and load this thing up. Just to note, the tools in my ultimate service bag will be slightly different than what you see here. All right, everyone, this is it. Just a heads up, if anyone is interested in any of the products shown in this video, there will be links to each of those products in this video's description. Let's begin with my favorite pair of gloves as you probably see them in just about every single video. These gloves are extremely comfortable, they are made by Milwaukee and these are the cut level ones. Here's the front of the bag, we have a small pocket here and I just keep a couple little things inside. I keep three pairs of jumper cables, on the right we have a red and white pair which uses alligator clips and on the left side are magnetic and trust me they each have their own advantage. On this side of the bag I have a measuring tape, it is a smaller version, it's only 16 feet made my Milwaukee and I love the clip that it's on. As you can see right here, you can clip on quite a few things. Some guys like to put the drill there, but I just put a measuring tape. Next on the side I have a small multi-tool. This is a small pocket screwdriver that was given to me by one of my favorite supply houses. It has a small flathead and Phillips head. And on the edge here, we have a Schrader remover. If we turn the bag around, we have a small little pouch here with a few items. This is a valve core removal tool made by Yellow Jacket and this tool is absolutely amazing. I made a separate video on this as well so definitely go check that one out. Let's continue. Next I have these two adapters. When you're working on the mini splits you're definitely going to need these. These are your 410A adapters so you can attach your gauges or manifold set to your system. Next I carry all these small attachments and this is for a small ratcheting tool I have in my bag as you will see that further in the video. On the opposite side of my bag I have a few different colors of electrical tape. This is used for marking and I also have a pair of mega tape. This is good for gas and water lines, definitely comes in handy. Here I have two markers, definitely come in handy. This one right here is an attachment that I can use for my screwdrivers or my drill. This is just an extension. Here I have a pen, but it's not your average pen, it's actually a tactical pen. And it's made by Smith & Wesson. This is a very cool pen. When the customer is signing the bill, 
definitely makes you look more professional and it's actually a tactical pen where you can break glass with it never know all right all right all right let's get to the goodies here's what i would consider the front of the bag and my number one tool would definitely be my multimeter this is the fluke 902 fc hvac clamp meter this is by far my favorite multimeter i've ever had i had this for about two years now and i do not regret the purchase this thing is amazing i'll leave the standard leads on them and i do have some accessories that i have in another part of my bag that you will see further in the video here i have the fluke 62 max ir thermometer and this thing is a beauty here i have two sets of allen keys made by client tools one of my favorite brands that are out there this is the metric version and sae version back here i keep a box cutter this one is made by milwaukee and this one is by far my favorite as i feel like it's the most sturdy of course you're gonna need this when you need to cut things or if a customer doesn't pay <laughs> here i have a klein tools multi-bit nut driver and man this thing has come in handy way too many times so we have multiple sizes here you can go ahead and mess around with it and they're color coded which I think is absolutely amazing. As far as screwdrivers, all my screwdrivers are made by Klein Tools and personally I think they make the best screwdrivers. This one here is the 11 in 1 and this is a must. This is another Klein Tools screwdriver. This is insulated, good for 1000 volts. It's a flathead and a Phillips head and this thing just really is great. I also carry the 4-in-1 Klein Tools electronic screwdriver and this is great for small controls and thermostats and things of that sort. To top it off we have the Klein Tools Stubby Multi. It has quite a few attachments here like your 5 16th quarter inch, flathead, Phillips head. This thing is a lifesaver sometimes. Tucked away back here I have a small emergency flashlight. This flashlight is made by Streamlight. This is the Streamlight MicroStream USB. It's rechargeable and honestly this thing is a lifesaver at times. I think that Streamlight makes one of the best flashlights that are out there. Tucked away back here I have my digital thermometer. This is the Subco ST09 and it's just a solid piece that is affordable for everyone. In the same pocket I have my yellow jacket refrigeration wrench. Definitely need one of these. Tucked away in the same pocket I have this little mirror here. And honestly, this thing comes quite in handy for a number of reasons, and it's telescoping. That's going to do it for the front of the bag, as we have a second side in the back where we have quite a few more tools. Let's go ahead and go over that. Let's open the back side of the bag and see what goodies we have in there. Just a heads up, if so far you're enjoying this video, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. Don't forget to share this with your friends. And let's continue. Alright, so let's start with the tools in the far back. These are by far my favorite linesmen's. These are made by Knipex. These are 9.5 inches long, so you have quite some leverage. And my favorite part about this is you can actually crimp with them, along with cut wire and quite a few functions. In my previous bag, I kept everything 1000 volt insulated. These are a bit bulky and honestly not as comfortable and it doesn't have the crimping function. These are a great pair of linesmen's, but honestly, these are way more comfortable. Right next to the linesmen's, I have the needle nose, also made by Knipex, extremely comfortable. To the right of that, I also have the same line of tool made by Knipex, and these are your diagonal cutters. Amazing tool. Back here, I have the Milwaukee Torque Lock, this little guy comes quite in handy. Moving on up, I have my insulated fuse pullers. Definitely want a pair of these in your bag. Last thing you want to do is get electrocuted. Right next to the fuse pullers, I have three sets of the Cobra pliers. For the most part, I use the two larger sizes, but the smaller size definitely comes in handy. I really like these. These are pretty cool. Next over here, I have a pair of insulated needle nose pliers. These are actually pretty cool. They're all plastic and this honestly comes in handy. Sometimes you work on live situations. I don't recommend it, but this thing is a lifesaver at times. 
in the same pocket, I have my adjustables. I got two 10 inch pairs, one eight inch pair and a six inch pair. Use these a lot. While we're on the topic of adjustables, I do carry a mini four inch adjustable. This thing is so small, it's like a little toy, but honestly, this thing is a lifesaver. Over here, I have a couple of attachments for my multimeter, as I promise you'll see it further in the video. So I got these two little attachments. Here's one of the attachments. I have the micro leads, which are super thin, and you could put these on top, really cool. So I have a little space here, so I figured I'd just tuck them in. And in this pocket, I have more attachments. This one is your thermometer. You can attach it to your meter so you can read temperature. Really cool, this is the K-type. These are the micro leads. As you can see, the leads are super thin. These really come in handy. I also have these set of leads that I can put onto my multimeter and these are alligator clips. Amazing. Here I have three small pockets where I can put a few little tools. This one, as we saw, this is our four inch adjustable. Here I have a caliper up to four inches. This is my favorite kind. Then I have this little ratcheting multi-tool. This is a small ratcheting tool for tight spots. This thing is amazing. And this is what I showed earlier in the video and it's used for this. This is a quarter inch fitting. So you could put all your drill attachments on this as well. And in a tight space, this thing is a miracle. Tucked away in here, I have my CPS solenoid magnet. This tool is really great. It really comes through in a pinch. On the side here, I have a level. This one is made by Milwaukee. I keep this in here, it's magnetic. Honestly, because I'm a perfectionist, I want everything nice and straight, so I do keep this in my service bag. Last but not least, I have these Crescent wrenches. This is the Crescent X6, and we actually have eight sizes here. Honestly, I can't tell you how many times this thing came in handy. If you guys watched my previous videos, my truck got broken into and they stole quite some tools. One of them was my socket set and this thing right here came in clutch. Although this is not a small amount of tools, there's quite a few tools in here. This is what I need to do my job, but it is a lot, lot lighter than my previous bag. To finish off the video, I do carry a separate small little bag with me, which is my drill bag. And inside I have my Milwaukee M12 impact drill. And here I have all my attachments, a bunch of chucks and fittings that I can use for my drill. And at the same time, I carry my light. This thing is probably one of my favorite tools. I use it everywhere. You'll see it in my videos. And then on the side, I have this little everything pouch where I keep like wire nuts and different types of cell tapping screws and little bits of hardware that just really come in clutch. And that's pretty much it. Inside my drill bag, I also might carry uh, an extra battery and my charger. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come up with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.